what does the scripture say? Which, you know, a lot of people ignore and justify what is said. But, the, you know, the word clearly says, the borrower is a servant to the lender and the rich ruleth over the poor. And what do we have here in this society today? We have uh, uh, everybody pretty much running around debt slaves. We're looking at trillions of dollars of student loan debt. We're looking at trillions of dollars of mortgage debt. We're looking at trillions of dollars of credit card debt. And it's expanding because uh, the only reason, the reason why it's expanding is it's necessary to keep a debt-based economy, a consumer-based economy alive. I'm big on fiscal responsibility. I'm big on living within your means. Recently, and I think this is happening to everybody, is that they're giving out credit cards left and right. But when you look at the 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 terms and conditions of these credit cards, it's like dealing with modern day loan sharks, man. These people are vicious as hell. Look at this. You're talking about 29% interest rate, okay? Cash advance, 29%. How to avoid uh, 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 interest payments. They're saying to pay it at 25th day, but look at this setup fees. Look at these setup fees $75 for the first year and $99 afterwards. So, hey, whether you're using the credit card or not, they're going to charge you $99 to use this credit card. But the only addition of that, they got an annual maintenance fee of $99, but then they get, they got a monthly maintenance fee of $125 or $120, and it is billed $10 per month. Are you shitting me for a credit limit of $300? And then you have additional fee, one time $30, uh, if applicant is or if for an additional card fee. Cash advances, late payments, $41. This, this is a, this is crookery. Look at this going on here. 23% interest rate, 25% interest rate, transaction fees, late payment fees, cash advance fees. These people are, and, and mind you, they're creating this money out of thin air. You know, uh, uh, Brother Dean, you know, just now posted on uh, his Facebook page, uh, and he does, and they do credit repair, that uh, uh, he can offer a, uh, to recreate, prepare, re-repair your credit. So two years go by, um, uh, you can re-repair your credit. Now, I thought the whole point of repairing credit is so that people can get out of a mess, can get out of a jam. And that they're on the road to fiscal responsibility, that they're on the road to uh, uh, handling their finances correctly. But based on what his statement was, is basically is that these people, two years, not two, not 24 months has gone by. And these people have bad credit all over again. Now, the fact is that life happens. Of course, life happens. But the idea is that, you know, uh, if you're living within your means, if you are dealing with uh, your finances uh, responsibly, if you're living within your means, you don't have to deal with any of this stuff. And it's shocking when it came across on the Facebook post that every two years, there's actually a market of people that every two years, they got to get their credit repaired again. Every two years, they got to get their credit repaired again. It, it's, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. But this is why we're in a situation in a nation where we are $30 trillion in debt. That's not even including corporate debt. That's not even including credit card debt, student loan debt, um, car loan debt. We are up to our eyeballs in debt. And these people are issuing more debt more than and faster than they have ever, because you have to, in order to uh, keep a debt-based economy li alive, you have to increase the debt in excess of the debt and the interest 
that you had the year before or else the system collapses. This is why they are constantly giving out credit cards left and right. Where is this going? Go Where is this going? And who's going to suffer the most as a direct result of all of this money printing, all of this debt? It's amazing. It's just true. I'm telling you, man, I look at this stuff and this is why it's so important to pay off your credit cards at the end of the month. To pay them off as quickly as possible if you have credit cards. I have credit cards, but I have no balances. And and you know what they do? They, they, they're sending me more credit card applications. More or on a daily basis, I probably get in the mail uh, on a weekly basis over a dozen credit card applications. See, the problem is today is that, you know, it's sexy to have a 700 credit score because this is what this system has told us to do. This is what this system has programmed us to be. 700 credit score. You got to boost your credit. You got to have good credit. You got to have good credit. You can't do nothing without good credit. You can't do nothing without good credit. But, and, and they've drilled this so much in our minds that now this is, this is the norm. But nobody's teaching anybody fiscal responsibility. Nobody's sitting down because it's, it's not sexy and there's no money in it. But nobody's sitting anybody down and saying, you know what? You make a, 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 a $25,000 a year. You work at Walmart. You need to live according to your Walmart salary. Listen here, you are a CNA or you are a, a customer service representative. You need to live according to what you make because you can't afford anything else. You see, it's amazing. And then you got these same people running out, getting high cars. You got these same people running out, uh, 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 living way beyond their means because nobody wants to tell them the honest and painful truth that in order to really survive and thrive, you're going to have to put in some hard work. And that starts with f fiscal discipline. That, that starts with discipline straight out. Because if you're not fiscally responsible, then how is it that you are going to maintain anything where you're in a situation where every two years you're going to have to repair your credit again? Every two years, you're... You're going to have to go through this same cycle again of uh, having somebody nigger rig your credit report in order to and find all types of loopholes and shenanigans to get you to not get out of the shit uh, that they got you out of two years earlier. See, it's not sexy to be fiscally responsible. There's no money in being fiscally responsible. This system wants you in debt. Because that's how we get paid. That's how the system gets paid. That's how people get rich. That's how people make money. Getting people in debt. Getting people to live a higher level, a lifestyle that they cannot afford. It's a shame. It really is a shame. Look at these, these devils. Fiscal responsibility is the name of the game. Live within your means. Stop running around. I mean, you, you, it, it, it sounds so foolish. But hey, good is evil. Uh, 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 debt, debt is good. Debt is, debt is wonderful. Uh, credit, is, credit is great. When, when the scriptures clearly say, the borrower is a servant to the lender and the rich ruleth over the poor. Not but a bunch of damn debt slaves. That's all we are in this in, 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 in this society today. Learn how to live within your means and you don't have to worry about this stuff. Because these loan this is nothing more. This, this is loan sharking. This is all this is. I got these in the mail uh yesterday, went and picked up the uh the it, it, an opener. This is nothing more but just good old fashioned loan sharking, taking care, uh, uh, uh taking advantage of people with money that they created out of thin air, given to them by the Federal Reserve at 0% interest rate. And then go, turn around, this is their profit, 28.999%. And who's the sucker that's paying for it? You.